Hey y'all. <laughs> Got a little break from the rain this evening. Had a few more thunderstorms coming through here in East Texas. Pales in comparison to uh, what's going on in the East Coast anyway. I know Wilmington is getting pounded as it is with these storms we see this time of the year. Now I got tickled in the watermelon patch I planted in the spring. We still got a few melons out here. But uh, funny what a difference a few weeks make. I was out here, uh, it was begging for water two or three weeks ago and it was confined over there. And I just happened to notice today, uh, of course it's too late for these vines to really make. It's mainly just healthy vines now, they're older plants, but still pretty phenomenal. Look at the size of these leaves on these watermelon plants after a week or two of steady rain. I mean, they, they've taken over the mulch pile. Look at that. <laughs> oh man, that, that old rain does them good. Now there's, they've got some blooms on them. So uh, who knows, they might make a melon or two yet. We'll, we'll let them do what they're gonna do. It's funny talking about what a difference a week or two makes um, over at uh, church Wednesday evening. My, my dad sang a special. That was kind of cool to see him sing. But uh, he mentioned something to think about. He was talking about how, and we all have gotten into this anytime there's a local weather event or catastrophe or something pending. He was talking about, you know, two or three weeks ago, folks was uh, just living their life and worried about things and you know, were they going to be late to PTA meeting or getting the kids off of school and all that. And then a hurricane comes and all that goes to the wayside. It's uh, all about survival at that point. So definitely got uh, those folks in our thoughts and prayers tonight as they get through this big old storm. It's a big one too, all that rain. You know, that's the thing about it, those storms when they hit, everywhere is a flood zone at that point. Uh, people that hadn't seen water in years will be over the, up to the roof sometime. So hope those folks are being careful and got an escape plan. But uh, enjoy seeing a little sun this evening. Uh, somebody's asking me how tall my corn was. Of course, I ain't, but uh, five and a half and a half and a quarter. No, <laughs> these things are nearly eight foot tall. Look at that. It's not easy to tower over me, but they sure are. And they're full of silk and putting on here, so we're we're blessed. Happy to uh, happy to get all that rain. Peas are loaded, as I've said, and it's almost picking time on them. I was walking around, y'all know I had that chicken condo. What it is, I, I figured it out, it's an old chicken catching cage. Those big cages you see on the back of the chicken trucks around here. And it's a monster. So it's a workable solution, but as these chicks get a little bigger, I'm not ready to put them full in the yard, but I need to spread them out a little bit. And those old cages are so heavy, they're not really practical for getting a bunch of them in there. And lo and behold, all I had to do was look around this old place and its treasures. <laughs> um, thankful for all the things that were saved. So I came across these babies. They're a little bit more my size. They're on wheels and uh, I can sure make use of those. I've got a slab in one of the off houses there. It's gonna make a perfect uh, brooding barn, if you will. Safe again from predators as it can be closed in. Got a little uh, small area where they can peck around, but until they get that big, I can spread out about a dozen a layer instead of having 20 on a layer because those biddies are getting bigger. <laughs> I think we're up to uh, 80 biddies so we uh i guess i've got an official operation the uh big old white broilers and things look as big as a turkey and they're uh they're doing good to get four eggs a day out of them uh, jordan and i walked out there yesterday evening and you had to run out here between the rain but uh <laughs> i looked over and uh i don't know if y'all a lot of y'all may not know what a, some of these chicken uh accessories are let me see I, I may not can hey there's one in here if i go in that shed i'm gonna lose signal but uh <laughs> i got so tickled so we've got some of these that aren't in use all right now realize those chickens are twice as big around as the hole on that and i looked over there and all i saw was a chicken's rear end and it was moving <laughs> moving around poor thing got stuck in there trying to lay an egg so 
we got the egg and the chicken out gracefully and uh, all is well but that chicken had to get in there and it thought it was hid because its face was buried in it but its butt was sticking out so kind of defeated the purpose i guess but she got her egg laid and got stuck and we got her out so <laughs> it's always something around here so i put those nesting boxes that i thought was, might be a little small but if she can get in that thing she can get in those nesting boxes jordan actually found a uh another egg in one of those nesting boxes today. We didn't know they was getting in there. They should, but they're so big. So that was kind of cool. Had a good week, how was y'all's? Friday is here, almost done, and the weekend is on us. We uh, had a few errands again to run this evening, and we've had a, a washing machine here on this place that it was a front load, and uh, it was here when we moved in. And I'll tell you, it was intermittent. I don't know, uh, no sense trying to figure out it's a sensor or something in it. And it would work about one in 10 times on the full cycle. So when it would go, <laughs> and y'all that have had washing machine problems will understand what I'm saying. I know when you grew up, you remember uh, that load would get off balanced on those old machines and the whole house would shake. <laughs> You'd have to go, I remember having to sit on the washer to make sure it spun out. But this one, it wouldn't do that, but it sounded like a big old jet engine. You could hear it all the way in downtown Nacogdoches. I, I, I believe it. You couldn't talk in the house. It just whirred and whirred. Well, it's about done. So we uh, had some folks. We got a washing machine, and Jordan and I just unloaded it, about to put it in the house. And I thought I'd come on and say hello. And I got to thinking, I guess I am truly in East Texas now because I've got a washing machine on the porch. How about that? Now, and there is an old wrecked car in the back pasture, so that's another one. And I can say that because I am a native East Texan. So, <laughs> so we, we're looking forward, though, to getting that baby hooked up and getting caught up on the laundry. Because uh, socks, that's my biggest challenge. I got to have clean socks. And they start, that's the first thing to go when the laundry gets behind is the socks. And everybody's scrambling. <laughs> but we'll get that fixed up this evening. But uh, well, I guess I ought to do roll call real quick, running my head. Let's see here. Well, where'd it go? There it is. Let me go back over this who all tuned in. There's my sister, Kim. Howdy, howdy. You'd be proud of your uh, little three sisters patch. We've got corn's good enough. up. And peas are about six, or beans are about six inches high. The squash should sprout next little sum we get. Hey, Bruce, how are you, buddy? Good to see you on. Donna from Pensacola. There's my... My buddy Donna, I'm sure Wild Man is coming here in a minute. Hey Phil, how are you? Margaret's getting showers in San Antonio. There's the Wild Man comment. Sally's up in Illinois, how are you? Sharon says hello, and Allie. Yeah, that corn is coming on, I'll tell you. My good buddy Chris King down in Lafayette, the pirate down there, she's on, how are you? Let's see. Yeah, it is a lot of biddies. Hey Dorothy, how are you? Let's see, Gloria. Oh, thanks, Gloria. I hope uh, hope they invoke good memories. Boy, I tell you with these cloudy skies, I was going to hold off on talking about it, but man, these cloudy skies the last few days, especially when it sets in, that wind gets just right, and the temperatures are a little bit milder after all this heat. I can almost smell them old bonfires burning. And what do they call them? The burr months are here, September, October, November, December. But uh, I'm looking forward to that. Not looking forward to the shorter days, but uh, there wasn't nothing like coming to this old place back in the fall. School had started. You're in a different rhythm. And uh, I'm just wondering what memories are going to wash over me when that uh, first cold front comes through. Y'all all experience that we all do. You get that first cold front wherever you live. It's just something about the air and the smell of it. It just really brings back every memory. All the good ones anyway for me. And uh, we'll have to do a little campfire chat when that happens. Believe me, I got plenty of wood we can burn. <laughs> you think they listed that burn ban? That'd be pretty hard to stomach a ticket with all this rain. I don't even think I'd get mine lit. But I don't imagine they'd mess with us at this point. Kind of common sense. <laughs> Let's see, uh, finish off this. Margaret, I can retire soon. <laughs> Just sell the eggs. Well, maybe so. It looks that way. <laughs> Hey, Gary, from Gun Gunsight, Texas. Oh, yeah, both seasons coming. 
so far I, I don't have any uh, open season on any predators here. Crossing my fingers because those peas are loaded. You know, those old deer seem to know right when them, them peas are making. Uh, my good buddy at church, she's farmed all her life, just celebrated a, a milestone birthday. She asked me at church the other night, she said, are your peas making? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, please tell me the deer hadn't found them. I'm like, no, ma'am, not yet. I hadn't seen any signs. She said, well, they know just when they're ready, so watch out. <laughs> so I may have to get me a tent and pitch it right there. Me and old Hudson will stand and watch them peas make. What do y'all think? <laughs> if I start seeing some deer tracks, I may just do it. I don't think there's any law against throwing rocks at them, is it? I can do that if I happen to hit one on the temple. And anyway, I'm going to not incriminate myself. From League City, Texas, how are you? Let's see, who was that? That's Kevin. Let's see. I think I got everybody. There's Patrice and my Aunt Pat. How are you? You about to get some rain. Hey, Kathy and Brenda. I think I got her. Hey, my good buddy Jonathan's on. What's going on, brother? And Belinda. Dorothy lost everything. Hurricane. Yep. That's right. That was a bad storm, Dorothy. Truly was. But, uh, why is your corn so short? <laughs> there he is with the short jokes again. I have to hear them all day because we work together. Well, here, here's one my size. How about this? I'm taller than this one, Jonathan. Look, I just, I'm a giant. Actually, don't make me stand up. <laughs> oh, wait, I am. <laughs> well, y'all have a great weekend. And uh, I'm hoping if the rain holds a little bit, if it doesn't, that's fine too. I may just end up weeding in the rain. But if it does hold up a little bit tomorrow, I'm about to make a big transformation on that chicken house. And uh, got some cool ideas about uh, running that operation a little bit smoother. And it's a blessing to see some of the Stuff I need, I've been sweating. How am I going to fix it? Walk out here in the pasture, and there's the answer. Isn't that cool? I guess that's how it works. But uh, All right, we'll let y'all go. Enjoy your, your Friday evening. Make the weekend count. Keep those folks in your thoughts and prayers out in Carolinas and as each of these storms come through. And uh, They won't be offended if you help them a little bit. You can always go give blood if nothing else. Uh, it's a strain on that blood bank system at this time of the year. But uh, definitely in our thoughts and prayers and, and uh, hope they come through it just fine. We'll pull, we'll pull through it. We always do. All right, y'all be safe, be the light, and enjoy your family time this weekend. Oh, you didn't have any plan? Well, you better get that done. <laughs> All right, good night. Be the light.